Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review for Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5? Five? 5. Um... Yeah, uh, first things first, before I get to the episode, Helen Wheels is fucking terrible. It is terrible. Absolutely awful. It is boring. It's boring. The lead actor sucks. Uh, Cole Meany, who's usually awesome, mediocre. You know, Commons whatever. The, um... The, uh, the, the bad guy in the episode is like a, a toned up or down or whatever version of Michael Shannon's character from Boardwalk Empire and it just is horrible horrible show horrible show anyway Walking Dead see uh, episode um, did nothing to help out me telling other people to be patient with the show um, because I still didn't find Sophia um, but um, and said so we got a long dream sequence, you know, didn't really advance much on Lori being pregnant or anything with Carl getting better or really didn't advance any of the plot this year until the very end of the episode. Uh, but, obviously, that'll take shape next week, so just be patient one more week for those people that are really upset by this season's slower pace. Um, in fact, we only have two more episodes before it takes a break. I didn't realize it was two more, and then we take a break till February. So there's got to be some kind of, um, some kind of climax or something. Um, yeah, well, let's see. Before I get to Daryl and why AMC sucks, um, Rick, I mean, Rick and Shane had another one of their discussions about what to do, um, leave the girl, don't leave the girl, um, you know, we've heard it like a couple of times now, um, you know, to be honest, I, that, that's something that if they're gonna, you know, keep a slow pace, that's fine, but, you know, do something a little, maybe a little different would be better, um, and then, like, discussing the exact same thing. Um, they could have advanced a lot of other stuff than have Shane and Rick again talk about, you know, what we already know is going on pretty much. Um, like I said, Lori, nothing. Andrea's an idiot. I guess, you know, I forget. I'll just, I'll just go, I'll just start with Daryl. Um, it was more of like a Daryl-centric kind of episode where he was looking for uh, for Sophia falls down gets hurt who shows up Merle was it a surprise no because AMC spoiled it in last week's preview great job and I said this on my last week video I said there were two things that are bad about showing it in the preview one it won't be a surprise and two if he's not really there, if it's some bullshit, you know, flashback, or in this case, dream sequence, or hallucination, then our expectations from the preview are just completely, you know, ruined. Completely. The second Daryl was lying in the, th in, the uh, in the creek, I was like, oh shit, it's gonna be a hallucination. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's not like we forgot about the character. You know, eh, whatever. Again, if he, if he had just shown up and um, AMC hadn't shown it last week, then it would have been okay. It would have been okay. Wouldn't have minded seeing him in, in it. But because of the preview, it completely, I thought, like, ruined it. Uh, Michael Rooker, Rooker was very, uh, was good, again. Uh, I did look forward to seeing him, seeing him back on the show when he does show up. Uh, maybe that'll be next season. Maybe later this year, who knows. Um, but, uh, Daryl went a little, like, nuts, wanted to see if he was appreciated, I think, by the group, that's why he made himself look like a zombie, I guess, um, and Andrea almost obliged him in shooting him in the head, what an idiot, I hope, uh, the only good thing about it is it'll snap her complete, hopefully completely out of her funk, it looks like it did it with Dale, at least, I mean, they were making jokes about it after she basically grazed his head with the bullet, and I was like, you know, you, you shot him in the head, you dumbass, like, what's, what the hell is funny? 
Oh. That was funny. Thank you, computer. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? By the way, that I, I thought I thought he was dead. I thought she shot him in the head, and I thought they pulled, they, they killed off Daryl on us. Which, again, the show deserves credit on the fact that they can do something like that and really make me think that he's gone. Um, and they've done it with Carl once this year, and now they've done it with Daryl. I don't mean when Carl was shot, but when Carl had his seizure, before he had his seizure, I thought he was dead, and this time I thought Daryl was uh, definitely dead. And usually you don't cut to commercial after, like, a headshot. You usually cut to a commercial after a headshot because the character's done. It's over, or it's the end of an episode. Um, but uh, that was actually pretty slick, I thought, because I thought he was gone. And actually, I would have forgiven them for showing Merle in the preview if Daryl did die, because then it didn't spoil the big, you know, moment of the episode, uh, which would have been him getting shot in the head and dying. Uh, but they didn't do it. And I was happy about it. It was nice to see that Daryl, you know, was still going to get to hang around. Um, but, yeah. Okay, I'll just go to the, um, maybe at the end of the episode, or just the idea that the farm has these rules. The second this guy mentioned these rules, it was like a light bulb went on. It was like, oh, no. What's going to happen? What are they hiding? And we found out what they're hiding. Uh, Glenn and what's her name? Farmer's daughter. Want to keep it going? Um, which is nice. The second she got the letter and she looks at the letter and the camera like zooms in on her. And she's had like this oh shit look. I was like, well, here we go. Bunch of zombies in a barn. Why? We'll find out. But, um... Uh, I mean, I, I don't know, are they keeping their, their dead just there? Um, people they lose? I don't know. But, uh, it was, it was a little disappointing that that, that, that was the, the big thing. I mean, I figured they had, like, a zombie somewhere. I mean, it was a bunch of them. Um, but I guess, you know, I mean, I guess we'll see, it, it's interesting, we'll see how it goes, how everyone has to deal with it. Uh, it definitely creates a lot more drama for next week, which um, is nice. And it's been a couple of slower episodes, so next week's I think we'll pick up uh, speed. We have only two left, so the next two should actually be pretty uh, uh, of like quick pace. Uh, I really don't think we're going to find Sophia until the end of the season. Um, at this point, I'm pretty sure it's going to take like all year, which means like not like in two weeks before the show takes a break. I mean, I think until like next, I guess it'll be like March or April when. Um, when the show finishes its second season, I think then we'll find her. Um, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be left. I think to the end of the season. Uh, but although I mean, good, solid, yeah, solid episode. Um, not as good as I think. I don't think it was as good as the past couple of weeks. Um, and to be honest, Dexter, this, and Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire for the first time was the best show of Sunday night. Um, definitely. It really, that show's actually getting better and better and better. Um, I, I think I have the lowest expectations going in for that show, just just because I'm looking forward to Walking Dead and Dexter much more. But Bor Borg Empire has been uh, absolutely fantastic in season two, so if you're watching this, that's a show you should, you know, uh, check out if you, like, you've, if you dropped it during season one, because that thing's, that's picked up. Uh, anyway. Uh, okay, guys. I'll see you next week. Later.